Hello guys, this is Anish Fidja with another tutorial and this is on water and watch my fire tutorial if you haven't seen it. So oh this is not just a water tutorial, it's how to make a deformer. So when rain hits the water, it'll actually deform. Uh, so let's make it plain. So this is going to be our water and the texture will be animated. So let's click on the new texture and go to surfaces and water and you can even make this lava if you like uh, just change the colors so change this to whatever Cre decrease that make this a plain oops forgot to make it effect pixel <laughs> click on it and just go if you have uh, just watched my fire tutorial and you should know what I'm doing, I explained it in that. I'm not gonna explain it in every single tutorial. So double click and make a darkish looking texture, double click, light texture, double click, darker texture, something like this. Hmm, looks kinda weird. Whatever, I'm not gonna go into so much detail. Uh actually yeah, maybe a bit lighter. Oh my god, never mind. So click on the color. Okay, and just uh, drag it there, I guess. Click on it, make it cubic. Two and two, enter. And oh, forgot to click on animate. Right click, animate. And now when we have a physical render, I mean, interactive render, it should look good. Don't, don't worry about it. In the editor, it looks better in there render so it's this and it looks like it's moving so yeah that's how we do that uh, now let's make the water deform uh, move around and make deform so make it editable or press C go to mograph effector random effector and group them alt g and click on the random effect uh, go to deformer change it to a point oh my god <laughs> oh that didn't happen oh yeah that's because i have this uh, change them to zero under parameters go to color more color i think no nothing effect uh, changes to noise and then go back to parameters and change this the axis to whatever uh, until it looks pretty good then press play and it should look like it's like water I guess so now it looks like it's floating and in the render the water is moving so it looks pretty good um, actually we can add a bit of transparency uh, not too much. Why isn't it being affected? Hmm, let me see. Copy and paste and see if that works. No. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Oh, now it's being. Okay, just put it at like 25 or something. You can see. Ah, reflection. Add a bit of reflection. Uh -huh. I think you need to paste this texture in here also. And no. Uh oh, that's what. Okay, add a bit of reflection and and Okay, so now let's make the emitter. So Oh that looks weird. Okay, let's just reload it. Oh never mind. Uh so go on the emitter simulate particles emitter rotate it like this move it up scale it up out make the particles so make a cube uh, so this is going to be a raindrop so about 20 and 2 and just move it up and copy and paste we want it to be different in a way, copy and paste, 
so make as much as you want just change it up a little and then just drag them all into the emitter I'm not sure if it has to be any editable but just make it editable if you like no I open mail oh. okay grab the texture on the emitter emitter I get off okay emitter change the texture of specular uh, make it blue Ah. okay so now we have raindrops click on the emitter click on show objects and oops make this about 250 50 mm, whatever and uh, about 100 depending on whatever 2000 okay that's about good that's good enough yeah mm, so now we want it to ripple when it hits the water so click on our texture go to displacement ticket go to texture uh, surface and no effect ripple and click on this click on this and click on that go to, click on the texture increase this and you can increase whatever and yeah just mess with everything uh, so now we want to make sure your plane is editable uh, this plane over here and editable is when you click on this or you just press C and oh it's like a triangle sign like that just drag it into object and then you grab your emitter into the particles and then click on let's just see if how the transparency is doing so let's make a let's get a small content browser let's go into my blocks let's get some dirt delete the dirt put this here okay so now let's see how the transparency is doing render nothing on the transparency Oh no, there's a little. Yeah, there's a little transparency. So now when you hit this render, there are ripples and the water is moving. And yeah, so that's how we do this. Uh, so thanks for watching. And uh, make sure to subscribe, I guess. I'm going to be opening a new channel. It's with my new, uh, it'll be my animation channel. This is just a channel of, of anime uh, tutorials and tests and stuff. So thanks for watching and bye.